I got the keys from the landlord. Two points for diplomacy. Hey, you know me. I'm a charmer. He mentioned that Longmore was going to move out at the end of the month. What are we looking for? Anything that can tell us why this guy was killed. Holy shit, nice monitor setup he's got there. I wish I had more than one monitor. Wait, ring? Oh, rug. I thought that said ring. Tacky. Yeah, this is, a. Uh, there's some pretty ugly decor in this place. Like that lampshade, ugh. I don't suppose there's a secret compartment down here? Oh, hello. Found something? Maybe. Let me get down there for you. <laughs> Always a gentleman. Alright, give me some time to go through this. Alright. Is it that difficult? It's a bachelor pad, all right. Longmore's 45 now. Probably never married. There has to be something here. Nice setup. What are you typing? Fingerprint bypass. What do I do now? Well, shit, this is... How would I do this? I mean, his fingertips are all cut up. So that's obviously not gonna work. Um... But I have his fingerprints on file. But what good is that gonna do? It's asking me for a fingerprint bypass. There's only one picture decorating the entire room. This guy fits the lonely profile, all right. I bet this is his mother. Wait, that's his mother? But why does it look like a man, and why is there a big red X over it? What the hell? Creepy. It's a memory card reader. That's a pretty strange model. Yeah, what the hell is that? That won't work there. It's a memory... That's a... The hell would I use on that thing? I don't think it's anything I have. It's a fingerprint reader. No, it isn't my fingerprints that it's looking for. Duh. There has to be something here. All right, I think I need to go get his fingerprints, or confirm them, or something. Ooh, safe. What's the combination to this thing? Oh, I don't suppose it's a four-number combination? Please, four-number combination? All right, let's try the number I wrote down. From those, uh, photos. Wait, I have two numbers here. Which one's which? Hold on. Oh, apparently I can't zoom in on another item while I'm in this view. Okay. I'll just try them both. 6174. Uh... Do I try to open it now? Oh, it worked. Okay, that was the one. What is all that? Let's look at it. Uh, that looks like case files. Tennessee Victims folder? This file has info on three different women, all from Memphis. And things in here. A candy wrapper, a few long strands of hair. A long, handwritten dialogue between one of the women and someone else. The women's names are Carolyn Palmer, Mega Martha, and Beth Williams. 
What the fuck? This is our guy, Longmore. So he's kept a file on himself? Let's see. Looks like he worked in public transportation in New York and Memphis. He was charting his weight every few days. He has a detailed account list of all the movies he's seen this year. <laughs> and women he noticed while in the theater. Oh. So he's a serial killer then. He's He's been killing people and collecting bits and tr like trophies, I guess. Or mementos of his crimes. Because he was in Memphis, Tennessee. There's a Tennessee folder. He's in New, New York. That's the New York folder. Now he's in Boston. That's the Boston folder. There are three women profiled in this folder, all from New York. It's full of little notes, shopping habits, places where they ate, clothes they wore most frequently. The three women's names are Janelle Katona, Emily Carlson, and Nadia Schwartz. I'll look at those other cases in more detail later. I want to focus on the case at hand, and I think I have all the info I need with the Boston profiles. Damn it, this was right under my nose. Sarah Goodman, Amy Lewis, and Elizabeth Bauer. I know Sarah and Amy. So does that mean that Elizabeth was already... Ugh, damn it. She was before Sarah. There are notes in here on them. Tons of details. Today I brushed up so close I was able to smell her. What? What is this? Well, if he worked in the subways, then I guess he would encounter a lot of people very frequently. Alright, let's, uh... Sarah Goodman. 34, he knows her address. That's the date that she was hanged on. This is the one that's not a surprise. Sarah, murdered in her house at 514 Chestnut Street. Ugh. <sighs> Maybe I'm just exhausted right now, but sometimes this shit gets to me. Wow, looks like he was really angry with her. Spend time with me, then you spend time with your husband. Well, which is it? You can't have both. You have to pick. You pick one person, that's the person you spend your time with. Wow. Alright, so let's look at Amy. Alright, 38. That's her address. Yep, she was a nurse. She said she's leaving. She told me that she's leaving soon. And if it's just me here, then I'll be the only one. The only one in this whole city. She likes me. She trusts me. I can persuade her to stay. Hmm. Well, this one was a lot more recent... ...than... ...Sarah's death. And this one, is that... Is that 05 or is that 65? 05 would make more sense, because it actually happened... No, yeah, what? It can't be 65, that's gotta be 05. Elizabeth. It looks like Longmore had a pretty detailed fantasy life with you. Lots of notes on it. He knew where you lived, too. Hmm. 730 Joy Street. I think she's someone who could make me happy, finally. Wow, this person is sick. Looks like he tracked you for some time, Amy. Address is at 1170 Melrose. That... <laughs> that audio clip was clipped. Whoops. Actually, wait, can I... Oh, no, I can't go back. Whoa, wait, You what? got it. I just skipped something. What just happened? Hey, Martin. Yeah, I need you to look a few things over for me. Yeah, I have a couple of names for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, okay, the first one... Okay, we got some info here. These women were all suicides, except for Emily Carlson in New York. They never caught the killer, but it was an obvious murder. The third woman in New York, Nadia Schwartz, hasn't been reported as missing or dead. OK, 
Okay, that's strange. So no one ever found her then? Yeah, why did the killer change his pattern and kill a man? Because these were all women. Unless it wasn't that killer? Why did the killer change his pattern and kill a man? I don't think that's the question we need to be asking at this point. Right. Uh, let's keep looking. Well, it certainly looks like Anthony Longmore was a serial killer, but who the hell killed him? He didn't kill himself. Hmm. Sully, Anthony Longmore was a killer. You think? What's our evidence? What's our evidence? He worked at the train station. Well, the woman from the, the women. What's that's not evidence. That's just a claim. Well, hold on. I need to gather more evidence first. Give me a second to answer that. You still haven't opened that compartment? Come on, you're in the FBI. Wait a minute. There's two Sullys. There's a Sully there and a Sully there. What? Doesn't seem used much. He must get a lot of takeout. Okay, anything else? Clothes? He worked for the T. Alright, let's go do the fingerprints. Sully, I need to go check on some things. Can you meet me back here later? Sure. Yeah, but you just keep petting the floor, you incompetent bastard. Buddy? Yo! Nope, I don't want to know more about the gadget. See you later. Alligator! Please never say that again. Hopefully Gallagher doesn't mention that her tape recorder went missing. Hi, Gallagher. Can I give her her date recorder back? <laughs> Can I? Can I put it back? Nope. Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. I can't say anything about the fingerprints. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Okay. I need to get his fingerprint somehow. And there's some sort of a weird card reader thing. And it appears that I can download the fingerprints from something to the computer or from the computer to something. But not my phone. And Terrence is the gadget guy, but he has nothing to say. Well, shit. What's on my calendar? Nothing. Alright, I've already done that, I've already done that. Alright, let's get a hint. Well, I already know that, but I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with it.
The Terrence give you one of those things that can project images? Wait. Wait, what? Okay. I... Okay, I have to admit, I don't know how biometric... Uh, security works. Exactly. Like, I don't know how the fingerprint reader actually reads your fingerprint. But... Does it... Is it so dumb that it can actually be tricked by simply projecting an image of a finger onto it? Does it not read pressure or anything like that? Does it purely read... The visual side of it? I, I don't know how it scans. But that sounds really far-fetched. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Th the thought never even occurred to me, because I just assumed that would not work. But, I don't know, maybe. Maybe the cheap ones read images, and the more expensive ones read other things? Who knows, doesn't matter. Alright, people search. Hello, Anthony Longmore. Anthony Longmore. Worked for the T. This is our guy. Alright, um... This? There we go. Okay. Good to go. Man, Anthony Longmore is such an awesome name. I'm more than just long, baby. I'm Longmore. I see you're still petting the floor. Good job. Have you gotten any splinters yet? Okay, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to project the image. Um, do I just use it straight on it, or what? How do I do this? Okay, let's try this. There we go. Wait a minute, I saw that image in Davy's email. Right, wasn't it that image, or was it just one kind of like it? I've been ignored before, Agent Re Oh, shit. This is a message left for me. They, the person, whoever wrote this knew I would be here. I've been ignored before, Agent Reed, but more innocents were going to die at the hands of Longmore, and I could wait no longer. I added a few things to, to this apartment in hopes someone would find them. But one can only wait so long for the law to catch up. Agent Davies was not so perceptive. Maybe you will see what she did not. Okay, so... This person added a few things to his apartment in hopes someone would find them? So those files... I don't think those files were being kept by Longmore. I think those files were of the murders from whoever was watching him. And he put it there so that I would have evidence. Huh. Who the hell is sending me these? Oh, Samuel Sewell? Is that how you pronounce that? Sewell? Samuel Sewell was one of the six judges that sentenced 19 men and women in the Salem Witch Trials in Salem, Massachusetts. Of all the judges, he was the only one who later repented. 
taking all of the blame and shame for the sins he had committed by sentencing the innocent people to death by hanging. The case of Judge Sewell provided a very interesting view on how the power of governmental agencies can, if abused, act against the same people who elected them and whom they are sworn to protect. Had Samuel Sewell and his fellow judges investigated the cases further and not opted for a superstitious view, the whole tragedy could have been averted. No kidding. This Whoops. Samuel Sewell was one of six judges that sentenced 19 men and women oh, in the Salem I, witch trials in I Salem, just read Massachusetts. That it's okay. The case of Judge Sewell provides a very a memory card. Okay. Please insert memory card. I don't have one. Do I? I mean, I guess there could be one on my phone, maybe. A memory card? Okay. That won't work there. Hmm, maybe Terrence would have a spare memory card? This is not going to work with this. It's a memory card reader. That's a pretty strange model. I don't suppose you have one. Okay, that was strange. Give me a second to answer that. Oh, wow. What the fuck is going on? Give me a second to answer that. Okay, I almost broke the game. What is it loading? I'm, I'm just sorry. gonna leave. I need to go. Sure. And that reminds me that I need to save it just in case I do actually break the game. Can I save in this window? No. Okay, let's go talk to Terrence. I think he's the one most likely to have one. Buddy? Yo! Damn it. Ugh. See you later. Alligator. Who the hell would have a memory card? Hint. Help me. Hmm. Okay, it's not here. Well then. Where the hell did I get a memory card from? <sighs> um, I don't know, I guess I could just talk to everyone at the Boston HQ? Hey, sup Gwen, do you have a memory card anywhere? Hey, Gwen. I guess she doesn't. Goodbye. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. I don't think there's one in my computer. No, I don't think so. else could I talk to, John? You seem like a technology-inclined fellow.
McCoy? Red? Never mind. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Thanks. Well, I'm kind of fucked, because I don't have a hint, and I don't know what to do. Where would I find a memory card? No, it's not in Davy's office. I've already been in there like three times. Uh. Uh, hold on. I'm already on this floor. What if, what if there's a memory card inside of this? This uh, partly assembled antique. I mean, I've got this key. What does this open? It's from something called a, a Le Pondu. I can't combine them, though. I need to finish it, but how do I finish it? You know what I just realized? I totally forgot about using my cognition ability. God damn it. Why do I keep forgetting about that? Hold on. There's gotta be something like that in his apartment. Are you serious? Nothing? Anything at the desk? Okay, apparently I didn't miss anything. thinking it might be inside of the Le Pondu. Can I do any sort of a search? Hold on. Search. Entertainment? No, no, this... Uh, I don't think I'd find it here. Like, I'm thinking maybe I could find Toy Shop or something. No, I mean, there's one at Rose's place, though. There's a Le Pondu at, Ro at Rose's place. So if I can use a part from a different Le Pondu to repair it, then I could just use hers. So I don't think I can, because I can't use hers, at least not last I checked. Let's look for an adventure game? Yeah, let's look, an ad look for an adventure game. Haha. -ha. Of course. Adventure movie? What am I doing? No, no, no. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't think there's a message. I mean, a hint. Nope, it's already done. Already done. Already done. I don't have a memory card. This is not going to work with this. Uh, can I just, like, call Terrence? My buddy, Terrence, from Forensics. I don't have anything to tell him right now. Okay, what if I try and call him while I'm on this window? I mean, I don't think this is gonna work, because I already actually went up to him and he didn't have anything to say. I 
I don't have anything to tell him right now. <sighs> Whoop. I'm screwed. Or, you know, there could be a, a memory card in that floor compartment. Huh, Soli? How's it going? No, I can't talk to him. He's just gonna do that stupid evidence thing. All right, you know what? Maybe I need to do that to advance it or something. Let me try. I can say Soli, it's Robert. I don't have any evidence to suggest that. Sully, Anthony Longmore was a killer. You think? He worked at the train station. Yeah, but that really doesn't tell us anything. Okay. Sully. You think? Those women from the safe are his victims. He took those photographs. And he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. He was in Tennessee first, and then in New York. He killed these women, and he had a pattern. Yep, he kills in groups of... Mm, three, right? Yeah, groups of three. He kills in groups of three. How do you know? Two reasons. Uh, he was moving out soon. He was moving out soon. And... He killed three victims in every state. Wait, except New York? Wait, what did he do in New York? So Something happened in New York. I'm trying to remember what the hell it was. Um, shit. What was it? No, I think he killed three people in New York, right? Wasn't it just that New York had one victim that was obviously a murder? He's killed three victims in every state. Something about that doesn't add up. Are you serious? Sully. Yes. Those w He killed- And this is the one step forward and then- Die and then, you know, I'm not actually dying, but one step forward. Fail. Two steps forward. Fail. Uh, it's just like the fight near the beginning of the game. Except I'm not dying. I, I'm just restarting the dialogue. He kills... How do you... Two reasons. He was moving out... And... He's killed three vi... Look at the boxes. You mentioned the landlord said he was moving out. He was done here, ready to go on to the next city. He killed in threes all the time. But what happened in New York? Why is Nadia Schwartz still alive? Um. That's a good question. I have no idea. Wait, how do we even know that she is alive? Nadia Schwartz. Um, I don't know. Give me a second. To Go back to petting the floor. I need to look at some files. There are three women profiled in this folder, all from New York. It's full of little notes, shopping habits, places where they ate clothes they wore most frequently. The three women's names are Janelle Katona, Emily Carlson, and Nadia Schwartz. I'll look at those other cases in more detail later. I want to focus on the case at hand, and I think I have all the info I need with the Boston profiles. Damn it, this was right under my nose. It says there's three victims, so why did it... Why did I succeed in the dialogue by saying that he killed three people in every state except New York? There are three women profiled in this folder. Yeah. All from New York. It's full of little no- 
I'll look at those other cases. I'm, re I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, I have a bunch of evidence, and I want to investigate it, but I don't... Like, I don't know what the game expects me to do now. It's obviously expecting me to do something, but it's not corralling me through its expectations very well. Like, I'm supposed to know stuff about New York? To tell to Sully, to convince him, but it won't let me actually know more about the New York case, because this is supposed to focus on the Boston? So, what? What am I doing? Are there any new hints? No. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? I mean, I could try those dialogue options and just brute force it, maybe? But what's the point of that? That's stupid. I don't want to do that. Can I go Sally, back to the station? I need and search for some of these names? Go to Roses and get her La Pondu? I don't think so. I tried that before and I couldn't I couldn't take it. Even though I think I'm only missing one piece. I've already searched for this. I can't search for any of the names that I found in the file. Hmm. hmm. Another hanging. Ruled as a suicide. For now, I'll focus on the Goodman case. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do first. Like, am I supposed to figure out the La Pondu first? Am I supposed to get the memory card first? And that'll give me more evidence that I can use to tell to Sully? What am I supposed to do first? Or should I just brute force the dialogue? Because all those dialogue options were involving knowledge that I don't have. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. John, help me! Help me, John! Please come out of your donut coma... coma sis, whatever the word is. Donut coma? I guess that's it. McCoy? Red? Nah. I'm going to go back. Go. Accounting? No. Yeah, I hate, I hate when I get to this point in an adventure game, and it happens so often in kind of classical point-and-click adventure games, where you get to a point and you just don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. It's not that you don't know how to solve a puzzle, it's just that you don't know what the game even expects you to do. I, I don't know what the game is expecting me, expecting of me. I don't know what it wants. It wants something. And I'm guessing every, like, I think my progress is being held off by, like, a plug. Like, imagine all the things I could do before this, 
like funneling down to one event, and there's now one event that I need to get past before I can do other stuff. And I don't know what the hell that one thing is. Should I just bullshit my way through convincing Sully with knowledge that I don't have? Let's go to the post office. Because why not? Nope, can't do anything with the P.O. boxes. Nope, fuck this. Alright, I guess I'm just I guess I'm just gonna bullshit my way through the conversation. Okay. Sully. You think? Those women. He killed. He kills and. How do you know? Two reasons. He was moving. And. I still don't get why that says he killed three victims in every state except New York. According to the folder, there were three names from New York, so what? Whatever. He's killed three victims in every state except for New York. Look at the boxes. You mentioned the landlord said he was moving out. But what happened in New York? Why is Nadia Schwartz still alive? I didn't even know she is alive, but apparently she is, according to what you're telling me. Uh, that's another person who's in New York. Okay, I don't know... I, I don't... I don't have anything to back up any of these at all. He was fired? He was fired from the transit department. Nah, that doesn't... Nope, failed. Solid. Those. He. Can. Two reasons. He. He's killed. Uh, because of Emily Carlson. Because of Emily Carlson's case. They almost caught him. He fled New York before his work was done there, and he could never get to Nadia Schwartz. It's clear, even the way he met his victims. How? Uh, he met them through public transportation. He met them through public transportation. He worked there. That's where he targeted his victims. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then... Who killed him? Good question. And why did they send clues to Davies? And to me? <sighs> this is a hell of a mind screw. We gotta keep looking. Okay, good. I got through that with knowledge that I didn't actually have. I, I, maybe that stuff was mentioned once, but... The game didn't give me the ability to re-examine it, I guess. It's a bunch of tools. Lots of rope. And get this, even some nooses. I also found this. Hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Good job, Sully. And there you go. I just uncorked the thing that was stopping my progress. Ah, <sighs> But it's okay, remember, I expected this. I knew this would happen. And now I'm past it. So, all is well. No worries, life is good. I Combine. Got it. It's all together now. There are some letter sliders here. Who repented? Oh, this is an easy one. Um. Does anyone notice something strange about the model? Look at this leg. Look at this leg of the model as I spin.
it, it's like I'm seeing the inside of those faces, but not the outside. Yeah, I'm seeing the inside of the faces, but not the outside on that model. What? That is really strange. And it's only one leg. It's not even the whole model. Okay, anyway. Alright, so this is an easy answer. It's the name of that guy I saw on the computer. The message that I also saw on Davy's computer that said he repented. Um, but what about this? Is this something I put in at the end? There we go. I should be able to move the letters now. Oh, okay. Alright, I just gotta get his name. Samuel. Spelled exactly how you would expect it to be spelled. But I'll write it down anyway. There are some letter <clears throat> sliders here. S. Whoa, what the hell? It just teleported me. Okay. S. A. M. Uh. Can I get an. M? Oh. You don't. Oh, you don't start from the beginning. Shit. Okay. Alright, because there's only a limited amount of letters on each one. Um, this one has an M. So maybe this is the M? Well, if that is, then there should be an S on this one. Please be an S. S? S? Eh. Nope. Alright. I'm gonna go by the M. I'm gonna find ones with M on it. Alright, that one does not have M. That one also does not have M. You are my last hope. There we go. Okay, so if that's M, then this should be S. Wait a minute. This is... It wouldn't be his last name, would it? Hold on, let me check how many letters there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So starting from the front. One, two, three, four, five... Six. No, okay, this is right. Uh, shit, I lost my place. Um. Um. I, I don't remember what letter I was just doing. God damn it. Uh, oh, so S should be here. But it's not. I'm confused. How many of these have M on them? M, M. Okay, does this have an S? No. Maybe it is his last name? What is his last name? It's Sewell? Is that also six letters? I don't remember. Hold on. 
Yeah, this this does this isn't right. Unless Unless you spell it backwards? Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. I guess that's possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God damn it. All right, so maybe it's his last name. It's probably his last name. There are some letter sliders here. Alright, let's start from the beginning. Hopefully it's aligned for that. Alright, so S, E. There we go. S, E. W. There we go, and then A, L, L. Bingo. And... And... Hello? There's a question. Who repented? Hello? Do I have to lock it? Wait, no, the, the key's gone. What the fuck? I, I spelled Sewell. Do I exit? And then what? I got it. It's all together now. There are some letter sliders here. Okay. Wait, did it? It reset, didn't it? Uh. So I can't spell Samwell. And Sewell doesn't work. Maybe I do it backwards. Does this have an A? Can I get an A? No, I can't. Can I get an S? Are there any other S's on this thing? I'm thinking there isn't. I don't think there is. So it has to start from the front. Okay. Well, it has to start from the front. I can't spell Samwell from the front, right? Right, isn't there no M? Yeah, there's no M. So maybe I can do it backwards? Is there an A here? I think I already I think I already checked this, didn't I? An A or an E? Either one. Okay. So if it's this guy's first or last name, Samuel or Sewell. Then it has to start from the front. And it cannot be spelled going to the left, because the next letter does not match either. I can't spell Samuel going to the right. The only thing I can spell is Sewell, and Sewell does not work. 
Hold on, maybe it bugged out. Let me try it again. I think it bugged. I really think it bugged. Because you notice how when I clicked this one, it, like, teleported to the other side? I think I might not have registered correctly. So now that I've clicked it and put it back to S, let's try this. S E W. A. L. And L. Come on, come on. Yes, okay, it just bugged. It just bugged. Creepy. Huh. What's this? It's a memory card. Huh. An 8 gig memory card. There could be a hell of a lot of data on that. In fact, there could be 8 gigabytes of data on that. Hopefully it's not just a memory card filled with, like, a mixtape of Britney Spears and Avril Lavigne. Because that wouldn't help the case at all. Uh, no, not that. Uh, no, no. There. Let's see what happens. What game do you want me to play now? What the hell is this? Okay, it's a map. With places. Oh, I'm supposed to find somewhere where this matches? Uh, bingo? Not quite. Oh, you know, I think I see it. No. No. Apparently I can click on these, based on the sound I'm hearing, but it doesn't actually do anything. Hmm. Alright. Uh, maybe... Not quite. I mean, it, it, they're kind of in, but they're not perfect. No, well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, this shouldn't take long to figure out. That's not gonna work. Um, I don't think that's gonna work. No. in right now. Erica, wait for backup. John, Davies could be in there. Did you try her phone? She's not picking it up. No one's heard from her all day. Get your ass here quick. We're pulling in. I'm on my way. What's the plan? Check out the bell tower out front. I'll head into the main building hall from the side door. Be careful. You too. middle of doing something construction stuff okay if a bright light it's not plugged in there's my gun I can't reach across to get it because you'll kill me uh, what the hell is this what is this thing good question what the hell is that touch it a virtual presenter that damn presenter thing gave me up <laughs> okay what does her interact with uh, pulpit 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 who the hell is shooting at me 
Uh, what do I have? Uh, none of this is gonna do anything. No, I need my gun. God, I can't reach across to get that. No, I need to shoot that, but I don't have a gun. I can plug it into the outlet, but again, I need to distract him. Can I turn this thing on and then run? Okay, yes, I can. Get it, get it, quickly! Oh, Ooh. Got it. Okay, uh, hey, can I save it? Yes, I can. Good. Um, alright, so this time let's think through what I'm gonna do instead of doing what I did before, like throwing uh, a lit candle thing onto the cement and then getting shot in the face. Let's not do that. So, I have a minute. He's not shooting. Let's plan. Construction stuff. Alright, I've got a brick. So we got a cord and a chandelier. Um Is that over him or is it just like over here in the hallway? I can't quite tell. So I'm thinking I can plug this in and blind him, and then maybe shoot the cord with the chandelier and make it crash down. Now what about this brick? Can Let's I throw try this? this. Grab that quickly, quickly, quickly. There, that should do it. Oh shit! I need to turn it on. Okay, grab another one. Let's try this. I throw it and then let's turn this light on quick. It's too far away. Oh, I need to get to the other side. Right? Let's try this. There we go. Alright, let me save just in case. Just in case it doesn't save, I don't want to have to redo a bunch of stuff. Alright. Flip this. Oh, apparently I can't use it anymore. Alright, just flip the switch. Aha! That should make things a little more even. Alright, can you shoot that? that? Won't work no, 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 gun. Gun. Come on, hit the cord. Uh oh. Oh no. Um. Can I just switch it back on? I think he broke it. There it is. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Whew. Okay. Gun. Shoot. Gotta hit the cord. Hit the cord. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh no, damn it! Can I turn it on again? It's almost down. There it is. Damn, this thing's, this thing's a beast. Alright, I think one more shot should do it. Suspect is on the run. Brown coat, brown hat. 
I think that's the end of episode one. Yep. Alright, gotta get my post-game stretch in, as always. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh. Ah. Nothing like a good stretch. Nice music, too. So yeah, um, I actually really enjoyed that. It has some of the typical problems they see with a lot of kind of classical adventure games, but it, it has a lot going for it, and it's really good. And according to the review I read, the second one improves on the problems the first one had. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm totally invested in the story, the characters, it's got really good voice acting, great art, etc, etc. So, I'm damn happy with this series so far. And I can't wait to see what they do with the second episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far. I'll let this the, uh, the credits play out so you can listen to this great music. And I will see you on episode two. Goodbye.